Hi guys and ladies, last month I made a huge quantity of pasta sauce, spare ribs, and meatballs, but no pasta. <laughs> yeah, it certainly was low carb, but a subscriber said to me he could never adhere to a diet like mine with sauce and meat, but no pasta. <laughs> so I'm determined to rectify that. Let's see if I can. A couple of years ago, I did a gnocchi recipe. It was yummy, but that one contained too much regular flour. And then there was soy flour in it also, and soy products have been getting a bad rap lately. So this time I'm using only this. It's not paleo, but it's very low carb. It's all purpose, low carb flour. Only one twelfth the carbs of the regular stuff. What I'm doing now is extracting three egg yolks. We want just the yolks, not the white. So here I've got one cup of low carb flour and I'm just going to sift it a little bit. Now to the flour, I'm going to add one and a half cups of good quality grated Parmesan. Okay, so here I'm putting in one teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Okay, what I've got now is eight ounces, an entire package of cream cheese. So I'm putting in the same amount, that's eight ounces of this softened goat cheese. Finally, our three egg yolks are going in there. Okay, so that's it. There's no other way to do this than to get your hands in there and mix it all up until a dough forms. Yeah, it's a little sticky. So this is often referred to as just a nudie. Nudie means the filling of a ravioli, but without the ravioli. And in Italian, it means literally nude, nudie. So uh, why they say that is because mostly it's cheese. <laughs> so I've got our big dough ball here. Now let's see if I could roll this into some nice gnocchi. So all I'm going to do is take a little section of our dough and make a rope out of it. Then I'm going to divide that rope into gnocchi sized pieces. Now ideally we want to have grooves in there. So what we do is just roll the gnocchi on the back of a fork and we have grooves to catch the sauce. You know, it's amazing. This is so low in carbohydrates. Most of it is cheese and what little flour there is, is one twelfth the regular flour. So there's hardly any carbs at all in this and I actually like it better than pasta. Well, I counted them, 217 of the little guys. So what I'm going to do is put them in the refrigerator. Then I'm going to warm up some good sauce and get some water boiling so we could cook these. So I have to tell you, the famous celebrity food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is coming over for dinner tonight. Gnocchi is one of her favorite foods. You know, I'm not doing that well in winning her heart. I need to maybe do some research about winning the love of a girl. So I have my sauce warmed up 
and my gnocchi ready to boil. And I bought this little gadget, and I think they call it a spider. What I'm going to do is load it up with uncooked gnocchi and then lower it into the water. About 10 seconds after the gnocchi float up, I'll use the device to take them out and transfer them to a bowl. Let's go with this first. It's about a dozen. Fog on my glasses. I'm getting impatient. Here goes like 50 or more. Ah, that's all of them. Uh-oh. A little breakage. Well, some of these are a little soft, but they taste great. I'm going to try one before Miss Cheeks gets here. Oh, mmm. Cheesy good. Really yummy. Mm -mm -mm. So here we are again with that famous celebrity food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks herself. Thank you so much for uh, joining me for my gnocchi dinner. Hey. Did you like it? Yes, it was very good. It was excellent. Oh, thank yes. you. And how about my uh, raspberry spinach uh, goat cheese salad? Oh, that was delicious. What a great combination of flavors. Thank wow. you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I liked it too. Uh, you know, Miss Cheeks, I, I mean, I can say Lulu now, right? Yes. Oh, thank so. you. Uh, do you want to see me do a trick? Okay. Watch. Ahem. Watch. Mm -hmm. Hi da! You see that now? Um, are you impressed with my best talent? Uh, you mean your goofiness? Yes, I am. Yeah. Well, I guess that's something. <laughs>